More and more information is coming out about Call of Duty 2020, that being Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which guys should be coming out and we should be getting more and more information as we get closer. But I wanted to go ahead and talk about, even though this is a very early and it's hard to tell exactly what all this game is going to encompass, but I don't think it's too early to speculate that there's a real possibility that Cold War or Black Ops Cold War could be one of the best, you know, continuations of the Black Ops franchise as we know it. So I want to go ahead and talk about that here in this segment of the show. So guys, up to this point, we've had Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and then Black Ops 4. And now we're getting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, I've stated I don't like the name Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War so much. Personally, I would have liked it just to continue from where, you know, Black Ops 4 to Black Ops 5. That's what I would have preferred. However, it doesn't seem like that's what we're getting this year. But what I want to talk about is why Black Ops Cold War could be the best in the series to date. So obviously, guys, the Cold War era is basically going back to the origins here of Call of Duty Black Ops. The first Black Ops guys being based around that time period as well. And we know that the first Black Ops was pretty successful. I mean, of course, we got Black Ops 2, which was one of my favorite games of all time and my f my favorite game within the Call of Duty franchise. Then you have Black Ops 3, which I thought was a significant step in the wrong direction. Black Ops 4 was definitely uh, a move in the right direction, in my opinion. All in all, I thought Black Ops 4 was absolutely incredible, except for not having a campaign. But with that... With Black Ops Cold War, why could this potentially be one of the best in the Black Ops subseries, or as the totality of Call of Duty as a franchise, how could this be one of the best in the series? Well, I'll give you guys a couple of reasons. Number one is, guys, is that this is going to be, even though they've only had pretty much a year or so to really work on this thing, where they usually have a couple of years or a few years, that being Treyarch, there's more hands on deck with this title than in recent memory with these other, you know, Call of Duty games. For example, Treyarch's working on the multiplayer, Sledgehammer is working on the campaign. And we know Sledgehammer, they've done a really good job with their campaigns in my personal opinion, one of those of course being World War II. Now, what I will say is Treyarch does an incredible job when it comes to the multiplayer aspects of the game. So if you take the totality of this, of course, Raven Software is also helping out uh, with all these things. When you look at the totality of it, there could be a really cool package here that we did not get with Black Ops 4. I would have put Black Ops 4, guys, most likely if we had a really solid campaign similar to what we've had in recent or, you know, previous editions of campaigns in the Call of Duty Black Ops franchise... I would say that Black Ops 4 could have been one of my favorites ever. I mean, it was certainly up there for me, but it didn't quite get to where Black Ops 2 was because Black Ops 2 was a full package, and I absolutely loved every aspect of that game. Black Ops 4 had great aspects of what was there, that being like Blackout and, you know, of course, having, you know, the, the multiplayer elements. But not having a campaign, only having like operator missions was something that did bother me quite a bit. And I really wanted to have a full fleshed out campaign. We didn't get that though. Here with Black Ops Cold War, we absolutely could get that. Treyarch does an incredible job with multiplayer. I believe they do a better job than even Infinity Ward when it comes to the multiplayer elements. As far as campaign goes, Infinity Ward is the best, but Sledgehammer to me is definitely right up there. Sledgehammer does a great job with, with campaigns in my personal opinion, and I'm excited to see what they do here with Black Ops Cold War. And then of course Raven Software being there, I think they're going to of course help in, in a number of ways as well. So... Coming off of what was Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is one of the best titles, uh, in my opinion, within the Call of Duty franchise as a whole, from a campaign perspective, best campaign, I believe, Warzone is awesome, the multiplayer elements, I mean, all these different game modes, I absolutely love Gunfight, and all these different game modes, guys, are absolutely great. Now, sure, there's issues, like, they don't have good camos, they don't have, you know, a few things that, like, aren't that great, right, about Modern Warfare, but now coming into this next game... I mean, along with Warzone being carried over to Black Ops Cold War, this has all the opportunity in the world from a competitive perspective, from a casual gamer perspective, all, all the way around, I believe that this could absolutely be one of the best titles in all of the Call of Duty franchise. So, 
Even though I don't like the name Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, I still think, guys, that it's not the name that makes a game great. It's, of course, what the contents of the game um, are at the, at the end of the day. What all it encompasses, everyone's going to remember this game as being called Cold War, but at the same time, even though I would have loved it to be called Black Ops 5, that's not what necessarily makes a great game. And I think that this has something special written all over it for this upcoming Call of Duty here in 2020. But let me know, guys, do you think Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War could be one of the best titles in the entire franchise to date? What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.